Hello. Of all the traditional poetic forms, the one that speaks to me the most would be the sonnet. In particular, the Petrarchan sonnet, which was one of the great inventions of the Italian Renaissance, adopted by the English in the 16th century. For anyone who writes, the Petrarchan sonnet has wonderful advantages. For one thing, it's a very strict form. For another, it's written in the language of iambic pentameter, which was used by the great Jacobean and Elizabethan playwrights. For another, it demands brevity. It really demands concentration. And best of all, the form is still flexible enough, and just long enough, for anyone to use their own voice, their own imagery, their own ideas, and to be themselves. The sonnet allows you to be yourself. Now, I have many examples that are favorites of mine, but one that really strikes me, because of its simplicity, because of its directness, and because of the quiet beauty of its work, is this one by John Keats, which incidentally is a wonderful, how shall I put it, a wonderful tribute from one poet to another. In this case, George Chapman, playwright and translator of Homer. Here's the poem. Much have I traveled in the realms of gold, and many goodly states and kingdoms seen. Round many western islands have I been which bards in fealty to Apollo hold. Oft of one wide expanse had I been told that deep-browed Homer ruled as his demean. Yet did I never breathe its pure serene till I heard Chapman speak out loud and bold. Then felt I like some watcher of the skies when a new planet swims into his ken, or like stout Cortes when with eagle eyes he stared at the Pacific, and all his men looked at each other with a wild surmise, silent upon a peak in Darien. Thank you for listening. And if you have any sonnets that are favorites of yours, please don't hesitate to share them with me. I'm always eager to discover new ones. So thank you very much, and take good care.